No is the missing link between us and Get Out. Here's the big theory. What do these three have in common? They're all experiments of the order of the coagula. It all started in 1963 when Roman Armitage lost to Jesse Owens, setting him on a quest to secure a black body. This would lead to the cloning program in us, but it was discovered that doppels would share the soul and would mimic their original, thus would essentially trap anyone who tried to put themselves in their bodies. In Get Out, we continue to see this duality, two stags and when Chris is in a dungeon, two lamps, almost as if paying homage to this experiment. Failing again, the order of the coagula began trialing hypnosis to solve the problem of two minds entering one body. But first, one mind had to be suppressed. Enter, no. Gordy the Chimp would be put under hypnosis by future Miss Armitage, as we learn in Get Out that she coined the perfect hypnosis technique, making Gordy the test subject, and I'll tell you why. As we find out by Stephen Ewan's character Dupe, Gordy went crazy when he heard a balloon pop. Otherwise, he'll do everything he was told, showing that suppressing his mind was a success. This is no different to Andre snapping when his photograph was taken. Over time, the Armitage family would learn from this, knowing you can suppress consciousness, but must avoid triggers. Hence why they were so keen to take Chris's camera away from him when they were sitting in the garden in Get Out. This would lead to the creation of the hypnosis with the teacup in Get Out and putting two souls in one body. It even explains what happened to the doppels at the end of Us and the mysterious beast in Nope. Let's go back to Jupe and Gordy. The thing is, Gordy never attacked Jupe and I think that's because Jupe is related to a member of the Order of the Coagula. The Gordy's home incident was no accident, but a test to see if one, the method of body control works and two, if the Order could tame and receive loyalty from those they couldn't. One thing the Order have in common is the colour red. We see it used to show ownership of the doppels in Us and we see it throughout the party in Get Out. We also see it in the scene where Stephen Ewan tries to call on the mysterious beast, which I believe he was left in charge of. What if the beast was created by the Order of the Coagula to remove the doppels at the end of Us? It could easily do it in the dead of night to avoid a crisis. It was designed to avoid a flash through an internal EMP, something which caused a problem in Get Out. It doesn't have the problem of being a doppel and Duke thinks he can control it similar to how he was spared by Gordy, because he was part of controlling him too. Get Out takes place in 2017, and many members of the Coagula would have seen Chris's camera incident at the auction. Us takes place in 2019, and Nope takes place in 2022, with the last two both in California. And where do we see the doppels at the end of Us? Across mountainous terrain, the beast in Nope's domain. The only question is, was the beast AI designed by the organization or are the order of the coagula working with something or someone extraterrestrial? Like and follow for more.